out there, people. My name is Ville Balo from a band called Hen. I sing for the band and write most of the songs for the band. And we come from Helsinki, Finland. Jullie komen vanavond voor him. Wat is er zo leuk aan him? Wat is er zo leuk aan him? Ja, maar af en toe zangen. Ah, de muziek. Het is gewoon zo mooi. Het is echt, echt gewoon het niveau en en gewoon ja alles samengesteld. Het klinkt gewoon zo goed. De gitaar, de bas, de drum en dan de zanger bovenop. Dat ik weet het. Het klikt gewoon heel goed in elkaar en het is niet iets dat je ooit eerder hebt gehoord. Uh, let's talk about Venus Doom, the latest album. Well, in what ways do you think Venus Doom is different from the other albums? Well, in a lot of ways it's it's a bit more musically complex than than the one before. We did an album called Dark Light and that was fairly straightforward. I would even say poppy. Straight to the point, very melodic. A lot of keyboards on the album and uh, this time around we wanted to kind of use more of the Monster Magnet, Black sabbath type of guitar. You know, just make it a bit harder and make it a bit sweatier and rockier and maybe a bit more masculine. So there's a bit less love in this metal this time around. What for me stood out was that Venus Doom had a completely different cover art uh, from the other albums. So well, what, how did that come about? Why did you choose for this post-impressionist painting? Is it post-impressionist? Well, I, I, I thought it was. I, I don't know shit about art. Uh, it's a... Uh, uh, it's uh, it's a kind of kooky story. Is it okay if I smoke? Yeah. Oh, cool. It's a, uh, it's it's a weird story. Uh, so we were touring with Dark Light, and we were touring the America and uh, the States, and uh, we had a couple of days off in New Orleans. And uh, I was walking about, uh, you know, killing my hangover, you know, sitting in bars and stuff like that. And there's a lot of art galleries at the French quarters in New Orleans, and uh, and uh, I just saw that painting in a gallery, and. I couldn't take my eyes off of it, so I had to go into the gallery. And I've never been to a gallery like a. Uh, I've been to a couple of museums before, but I don't know shit about art. And uh, I just walked into the gallery, and I was like, "Who's this painter? And what's the whole deal?" And uh, then I ended up, you know, buying the painting and shipping it back to Finland. And it's been on my living room wall, kind of like, um, you know, watching me. Uh, during the process of uh, writing all the songs for Venus Doom. So it was kind of like the, you know, the guardian, yeah, the guardian angel, so to speak. Heel veel fans hebben dat de hartogram, weet je wel? Dat, uh, hartogram, dat, ja. De hartogram. Ja, moet je maar even naar zijn borst gaan Check het uit. Nou, daar komt hij. Check het uit. Ja, heel <laughs> mooi. <laughs> On the end of that, there's this discussion topic about him being associated with Satanism. Oh. And, well, I don't ask you, I won't ask you how you feel about Satanism, but just how do you feel about the discussion? Well, you know, all publicity is good publicity, and it's always good that there's a lot of rumors about, and and you know, it's nothing negative about it if people speculate upon. Well, it's fairly, you know, r religious topics are always, yeah, it's good stuff to speculate upon. You know, I don't have any, anything against it. You know, I was brought up in a non-religious family. I haven't been baptized. I don't believe in Satan or or uh, or, or Satanism or the Christian dogma or. Or Islamic, or whatever you know. I'm, I'm, you know, I still haven't found what I'm looking for. As Bono once said, you know. Basically, non-religious. Non-religious so far, you know. There's, I believe in music, and I believe in the power of love, and I believe in, in, in the power of friends and people around you and your family. So in that sense, maybe family could be God. So I'm not that far off from uh, the Godfather.